obviously Clayton White, the four two five. Fans are really excited about the return of that because I really do feel like it lets your guys be athletes on that side. And South kind of certainly has that. And one guy I think is going to have an even better year than he had a season ago. And someone you mentioned, I believe, in your your preseason All SEC teams is J.J. Enigbare, the pass rusher off the edge. Talk about his game, what you liked about him. Obviously, you ranked him pretty highly in regards to your preseason all-conference teams. But what you like about his game, and what do you think he can do for the South kind of pass rush? Well, you know, Coach Beamer pointed out to me that he turned down the NFL, and uh, mm-hmm. he's going to be a high draft pick after this season is over. He got stronger to hold the point this year. Last year, there were a couple of times where he struggled to hold the point, but he's going to be better at that this year. And then you touched on it. The guy's a, a premier pass rusher. Uh, last year, six sacks. And I think he just it was skidding to the tip of the iceberg. Keep in mind that was in just 10 games. So I think we're going to see him step up as a pass rusher this year, especially in the, the new 4-2-5 uh, defense uh, where the ends have a little bit more flexibility to get to the quarterback. For sure, Phil. I want to backtrack just a second because I bring up your preseason All-SEC team, and I do want to highlight the guys that you mentioned from South Carolina because you had five Gamecocks uh, on that team. Defensive lineman J.J. Nigbari, who was first team, who we just talked about, running back Kevin Harris, who was second team, tight end Nick Muse, which if we want to highlight him, I think we should because I don't know how. I just glossed over the tight ends, who I think will be a huge part of the South Carolina offense. He was second team for you. Defensive lineman Zach Pickens, third team, and then offensive lineman Jovan Gwynn, four team if you want to run through those really quickly just what you like about each of those individual guys obviously again all five of those making your preseason all sec team going in the 2021 year well kevin harris really impressed me last year i mean it's not often when you have a a team that goes two and eight and the running back gets over a thousand yards and averages uh over six yards a carry like harris did last year so a super impressive back uh and definitely deserves to be right up there with nick muse I'm on the John Mackey award list. And, you know, sometimes the schools will say, Hey, we got this tight end. He had 800 yards of receiving, but he's 220 pounds and he's lined up <laughs> as a wide receiver all the time. That's not a true tight end. So they don't really qualify for the John Mackey award. Well, Nick Muse is a guy that qualifies for the John Mackey award. He's six, four, he's two forty nine. Uh, he was productive last year. He's tough though. He's consistent and uh, he's very good blocker. So if you got a, a, a guy that can block and attach the line of scrimmage and get out there and catch the passes, he was a second leading receiver last year. That's the reason he's up there uh, on the SEC team. I mentioned Gwyn before, you know, Gwyn's a guy uh, inside that's got good technique, good fundamentals. Uh, and I think he's uh, steady, solid, and he's looking for a breakout year this year as a sophomore. And I think uh, offensive linemen, generally, you have to take a look sometimes at, I think, in the postseason awards, the record of the team has something to do with how many offensive linemen get chosen to the uh, all-SEC <laughs> team at right. the end of the year. But Gwyn's good enough, I think, to, to be a, a primetime candidate this year.